The weekly demand for a product is believed to be normally distributed. Use a goodness of fit test and the data listed in the textbook to test this assumption. Use alpha equal 0.1. The sample mean is 24.5 and the sample standard deviation is 3. Our null hypothesis is that the population has a normal distribution and the alternative is that the distribution is not normal. If we look at our data set we have n equals 30 and if we want to have 5 in each interval then we're going to have six intervals and if we look up the, the standard normal table we can find out where the boundaries are for the intervals and if we put the first boundary at 16.7 percent and then the next one at 33.3 percent and then the next one at 50 percent and so on then we'll end up with six intervals and our expected frequencies will have five in each interval. So those are our interval boundaries on the standard normal scale but we need to rescale that to match our data so we calculate essentially Z scores and those are the, the Z scores on the same scale as the data set that will give us an expected frequency of 5 in each interval. And next we look at our data and find out and count how many come in each interval. So there are 5 observations that are 21 or less, 4 that are either 22 or 23, 3 that are 24, 7 that are 25, another 7 that are 26 or 27, and 4 that are 28 or higher. And then we constructed this so that the expected frequencies would all be equal to 5. And then our chi-squared statistic, take the difference between the observed and expected frequency, square it, divide by the expected frequency and add up over the six entries and we obtain 2.8 for our chi-squared statistic. We have five degrees of freedom in this case because we have six intervals and if we look up the chi-squared table along the row for degrees of freedom equal to five there is a critical value 9.236 that corresponds to a tail area of 0.1 and so the tail area corresponding to 2.8 will be larger than 0.1. In other words, our p-value is larger than 0.1, and so therefore we fail to reject the null in favor of the alternative, and this means there's insufficient evidence that the distribution is not normal.